This is an experiment for B.Sc. fourth semester. The experiment is to determine the thickness of a thin object by using air wedge experiment. Air wedge is a wedge-shaped film air between two flat reflecting surfaces that produces an interference pattern consisting of a series of bright and dark bands parallel to the thin edge of the wedge. When a piece of paper of width T, which when being increased between two transparent glass plates, a thin wedge shaped film will be formed. When a monochromatic light which when incident normally will be divided into two parts by the division of amplitude. One part is reflected at the upper glass surface and the other part is being reflected from the lower glass surface where it undergoes a further reflection upon striking that surface. Since this reflection is from an optically denser medium to the lower optical denser medium, the reflected light rays will be phase shifted by 180 degree. Due to the overlapping of two reflected beams, these bright and dark straight fringes are observed within the field of view of a traveling microscope. And this is the traveling microscope we are using in this experiment where the least count of this traveling microscope is given by 0 0.01 millimeter and we are using a monochromatic light of wavelength 5893 angstrom units. When the glass plate which when be inclined at an angle 45 degree, then because of the two reflected lights, the interference fringes are being formed. And this produces an alternate bright and dark fringes which is being represented as shown in this fringe pattern. In this fringe pattern, where it is being focused to the cross wire, that is to be taken as the reference fringe and that is to be taken as zeroth fringe which is to be recorded. And from there onwards, the micrometer screw is to be rotated towards the observer and move every time by two two fringes and record these readings on the traveling microscope. Now you are observing the least count of the traveling microscope is 0 0.01 millimeter or 0 0.01 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter and the wavelength of the light is given by 5893 angstrom unit or 5893 into 10 raised to minus 10 meters and the length of the air wedge that is to be measured as 7.5 centimeter or 7.5 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter. We have to measure the length of the air wedge between these two points that is this is the end of this point and this is the another point between these two end points we have to measure the length of the air wedge and this is nothing but the thickness of the paper now the readings are being tabulated as shown in this tabular column this tabular column consisting of following numbers i mean this consisting of serial number or observation number fringe number micrometer reading, distance between two fringes, fringe width and mean fringe width beta. And these readings are being tabulated as follows. First we are where it is being focused that is to be taken as the reference fringe or zeroth fringe and from there onwards we have to record these readings for the movement of every two two fringes like that of 0, 2, 4 etc. And for each of this we have to record the micrometer reading and the distance between two fringes is to be calculated and what is the, the length of one fringe width that is to be taken here and the, finally we are calculating what is the mean fringe width that is nothing but beta. Now we can calculate the thickness of the thin sheet by using the formula lambda L divided by 2 beta where lambda is the wavelength of the light used and is given by 5893 into 10 raised to minus 10 meter. L is the length of the air wedge given by 7.5 into 10 raised to minus 2 meters. And beta is the fringe width given by 0 0.218 into 10 raised to minus 3. With which we can make the calculation and this value of T is given by 1.01 into 10 raised to minus 4 meter. Finally, the thickness of the thin sheet is given by 1.01 into 10 raised to minus 4 meters.